A new and better life awaits you on our distant home planet, Plistonia. Hmm, makes sense. We're having a free get acquainted session at a resort this weekend. How much is this free resort weekend? It's free. And when is this weekend? It's this weekend. Uh huh. And how much does it cost? Um, it's free. I see. And when is it? It's this weekend. And what are you charging for this free weekend? Come on, Dad, the team's arriving. It's free, right? I'll be completely honest. I really didn't know what to expect coming into Once Human. I've dabbled with my fair share of survival games from Minecraft to Valheim, even going back as far as Conan. But something just grabbed my attention in this game, and I thought that perhaps there would be some degree of benefit in it. And lo and behold, here I am, 20 plus hours later, still playing. So, in this video, I'm going to share my story and my journey. And so, follow along with me as we go deep into the realm of Once Human and what it's really like to be a new player in the game. So let's get started to it. I think the best way to describe my journey thus far into Once Human has definitely been confusing, yet really rewarding. And I say confusing in a lighthearted way just because I jump into the game and there's so much to do. There's so much freedom that I have to immerse myself in this vast, open, beautifully designed world. And then I click on menus and I'm, my brain just completely explodes because there's just so much going on in these menus. It sometimes becomes really intimidating to navigate, especially when it comes to things like the survival manual and you know, your, your daily, you know, routine. Again, the shop is just confusing to me too. Like the shop has a shop within a shop. And I'm just like, what do I even do? Then I go into the events tab and I'm just like, there's events within events. And I just got completely thrown off. So I backed away from all that. And I just decided, do you know what? The best way to enjoy this game is to just jump right in, trial and error, and just go with the flow. And I found that to be the most fulfilling. Rather than trying to read every single fine detail that the game tries to throw at me i just decided you know what i'm just gonna go out into the world and just see where it takes me and that's really where the rewarding aspect of once human comes from is once you throw away all that confusion the game itself at its core is really well designed there's a lot to do you've got fishing you've got just freedom to explore you can do solo dungeons you can do whatever you want. And I think that's the beauty of the game. And that's why I'm continuously hooked. And I want to just dive even more deeper into the game. Now, m mind you, you know, the, the cosmetics are always a great selling point. And I love the cool costumes they have. I hope they add some cool sci-fi themed skins in the future. But right now, my mind isn't too much on the pay to look good type of feel. I'm more about just really sinking my teeth in and gathering resources and building cool builds and seeing how far it takes me and that's really the beauty of this game so far so that being said let's move on to the second chapter we'll talk more about my journey through with fishing and everything else to me simplicity is luxury and one of the things that I love a lot so far about Once Human are the small activities that you get to participate in, most notably fishing, animal taming and breeding, farming, and even just planting. Now, I know planting is typically a quintessential part of a lot of survival games, but I think when you put all of those things together and then you think about the potential future of what once human can become in terms of other activities you know we have a winter a winter pve theme coming up very soon and i'm looking forward to that maybe we can start building snowmen and have snowball fights and celebrate christmas together in the game like there's so many different cool things that i feel the once human team can really nail uh, for the long-term future but right now in the in the current present moment i'm really a big fan of fishing i i love the very tranquil feel of just going out into my own space chilling out and just fishing for as long as i desire and this is kind of 
why I loved Destiny 2's fishing for so long, and I was really sad when they removed it. Because it really took you away from all the action, and it gave you a chance to just sit back and really take in all of what makes One's Human so great. And so, I'm really hoping, as far as the future of fishing for One's Human, I would love if they added some boats where we can actually go out on a boat into the water and just chill out on the water with our fishing rod and just have a good time or even have the option to maybe grab a, a seat or a couple seats bring your friends along and just have a cool conversation right then and there and share your own stories too which reminds me if you guys have a story that you want to share be sure to leave it in the comments section. I would love to hear what your experiences were like as a new player. And of course, be sure to like and subscribe because it'll, for, you know, it'll help the channel. And you'll be updated and notified as to when I make more Once Human content, of course, too. Because that's going to be something I make alongside Destiny 2 content. So if you enjoy sci-fi content, Destiny 2 content, Once Human, and much more, then be sure to do all that. So... I just really enjoy the depth that this game provides and there really is a lot to unravel. I, I've yet to really experience the planting part and the farming part, but I'm also really excited for like the wish, the wish machine and the vending machine and the potential that those things have. I'm really just fascinated by all of those and I look forward to once again experiencing it more and sharing that story along the way and all my mistakes and screw ups. But at this moment, shoutouts to the dev team for making such a, a nice, chill, cool experience and allowing players to just go at their own pace. Even in the harder modes, I think it's still pretty chill. So that being said, I'll wrap things up. We'll go into my final thoughts and let y'all know what I really think toward the very end. I can't count how many times I've logged into Once Human only to screw up on so many different occasions, whether it's building the wrong weapon or screwing up on my cooking or getting into the wrong dungeon and soloing it by accident. It's, it's all in the fun. And I think making all those mistakes along the way is part of the beauty of One's Human because it really is a journey. It really is a unique experience that is tailored towards you and how you want to play the game. And perhaps that's why i enjoyed survival games in the past i think it just allows you a greater degree of freedom on how you want to play and how you want to make the world feel for you and so i'm really in this for the long term i really would love to see more content added for one's human uh, not just so much in the cosmetic section but more so in activities giving us more things like seasonal events much like the winter pve event coming up It'd be nice to get summer events or spring events, fall events. That'd be really cool just because it can really create a much more healthier social gathering and just add that camaraderie that I think a lot of other games don't really provide. And so in short, I just want to keep playing. <laughs> I want to keep playing and I want to share my joys and my ups and my downs with y'all. So once again, you know, be sure to tune in. I'll be sharing a lot more of my my screw ups and be sure to watch my streams too. We can talk about one human together. We can vibe out and just share everything that we do and perhaps make some friends along the way. So all that being said, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that this has given you some insight as to how I see the game and hopefully that inspires you to pick it up if you haven't already but of course if you're watching this you probably already own it so <laughs> that being said new warriors as always stay strong keep fighting and may the force be with you all always take care and see you on the next one peace